ready to match the stars. Nipsey Russell, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley from WKRP in Cincinnati, Lonnie Anderson, Jack Jones, and George Bulevant as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 79. And now, here's the star of Match Game 79, Gene Rayburn. Thank you. <laughs> like it better than the oh, fine. Oh, Jack. Yeah. All right, here are Karen Hearn and Julia Wilson. <laughs> Karen's the current champ at one hundred dollars. And uh, we met Julia Wilson just as the time expired when we were together last time and found out that... Uh, she's a flight director. She's a <laughs> former flight uh, attendant. Uh, attendant and has uh, three or four children, one of whom is 23 years old. <laughs> by, uh, uh, but not, you, it's a stepchild, right? Yes. yes. You have one. I have one of my own. One of your own. Old, and, and I have four stepchildren. And four stepchildren. So yes. there are a lot of people milling around that right. house. <laughs> All right. Good luck to both of you ladies. Here we go with round one. Julia, A or B? A. A it is. This one says, today there was good news and bad news. Mm -hmm. Oh, golly. The good news is Cleveland got a financial advisor. <laughs> the bad news is it's blank. <laughs> Very good. Julie Wilson, today there was good news and bad news. The good news is Cleveland got a financial advisor. The bad news is it's blank. Marvin Gaye. Oh. What? Marvin Gaye. <laughs> Marvin now, Gaye? Let's tell me why you said Marvin Gaye. He's had some bankrupt. financial troubles. He's lately. had some financial troubles. Oh. Okay. Oh. All right. She said Marvin Gaye. Yeah, but Marvin Gaye's trouble is temporary. <laughs> and not very celebrated. His <laughs> financial advisor is Bert Lance. Bert Lance. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Well, I thought of uh, L A N Z, but then I realized that was wrong, so I put L A N C, Bert Lance. Okay. That's two of those so far. Oh, uh, well, one of the other guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the two other guys, and you're right, hey? Chuck, okay. <laughs> now we come to this guy. Yes, here. and this guy went with all the other guys. And Bert Lance. Bert Lance. Okay, that's four of those so far, Julia. See, yeah. Marvin is not quite that big. This Wasn't year. thinking of Marvin Gaye. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put Marvin Gaye, Joyce? She almost said no, Marvin Gaye. I didn't even think about it. <clears throat> Jackie O. Well, she spent so much money, I figured she'd spend it all before well, she... She's a spendthrift. There yes. isn't any in Cleveland said. to spend, Joyce. Okay. That's the point. <laughs> so, now, around one question for you, but first, we have this for you. Here we go. The other round one question. Karen, this weather is really terrible. It's How so cold. It? Oh, <laughs> you want to do that? Yes. This weather is really terrible. <laughs> so cold. <laughs> I'm sorry, one line of show is all you're allowed in. How cold and terrible is it's it? It's so cold, a bear just came out of hibernation to buy a blank. <laughs> That's how terrible and cold it is. <laughs> this weather is really terrible. It's so cold, a bear came out of hibernation to buy a blank. An electric blanket. An electric blanket. She said an electric blanket. I've seen some far-fetched things. What'd you say? An electric blanket. I, I was telling Brett, I heard some far-fetched answers, but a bear buying an electric blanket. is too much. <laughs> <laughs> too much. I didn't know they had any electricity in those caves, or I probably would have put electric blanket. What'd you do, put? But I didn't. No offense, Betty. Fur coat. Fur coat. <laughs> said a Betty White fur coat. A Betty White fur coat. What kind of coat would that be, Charles? Fake fur. Fake fur, thank you. <laughs> Nothing uh, fake about this lady here. Oh, uh, true. Thank you. Here we go, Lonnie. A <clears throat> uh, blanket. A blanket. Yeah. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. 
JJ, all right. Weather's really terrible. So cold, Bear just came out of hibernation, Dubai. A, a blank et. Blank et. Okay. Three for her. What do you got there? The old fur coat. The old fur coat? Okay. So it's three to nothing. The end of round one, we go to round two. Julia, again, you have a choice of A or B. B. Ooh. B says. Did you meet your husband on a flight? Faye Ray said. It's dangerous playing kissing games with King Kong. Instead of spinning a bottle, he spins a blank. <laughs> Instead of spinning a bottle, he spins a blank. All right, Julia. Fay Ray said, it's dangerous playing kissing games with King Kong. Instead of spinning a bottle, he spins a blank. A tree. You see, there aren't too many trees on 34th Street and 5th Avenue. All right, Nipsey, she said a tree. Julia's proving that you can <laughs> goof with everything going your way, can't you? He spins a building. A building. That was what he was associated with, you know, climbing the Empire State and all that. Yes. Oh, no, this building was still there. What he spun was a little airplane. That's right. He could have done that, too. What have you got there? A strange answer, but I have my own ways. Naturally. An oil truck. <laughs> Big bottle. Oh, I see. Oh, he means, he means yeah. a darling. He That's means right. an oil drum. It's a container of some kind. Nice thinking, see. Steve. Yes, of course. I'm trying to save your That's neck out of it. <laughs> now, Judy, you got a match of three people in the lower tier to achieve a tie and stay in the game. Lonnie, what have you got? I'm sorry. I said skyscraper. Skyscraper. So that means Karen wins another game. What do you got, Jack? Enjoy. Skyscraper and a water tower. Some gifts will come your way for Match Game 79. Thank you, Julia Wilson. Goodbye. Here's a message or two just for you. Here we go. Karen Hearn is up here for the second time. She's got $200 now. She's going to try for the big money again. You ready? That's right. Yes, we sir. polled the studio audience not too long ago. Karen said, write down your best answer to this. Deck blank. Remember, $500 for matching the most popular, for matching the second most popular, $250, and for matching the third most popular answer, $100, three of our six stars will assist. Okay, Brett. Deck of cards. Yeah. Charles? Deck hand, like on my ship. Right. Nipsey. Uh, deck, deck chair. Balls, deck, deck, chair. Chair. deck chair. Deck chair. You have deck chair, deck hand, and deck of cards. You can choose one of those, or you have the option of giving us one of your own ideas. I think I'll go with the deck of cards. That seems a good. deck of cards. Yeah. Let's see. We have a deck of cards up there in some position. May we see the one hundred dollar number? Deck, deck hand. Okay, that's one answer a celebrity gave you. May we see the next one, please? Yes. Deck of cards. Congratulations. You got $250 more. You have $450 all together. Oh. 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 Deck, deck, deck the halls. Deck, deck the halls. Deck. You think that's what it's going to be? Yeah. Deck the halls with plastic holly. Pa -la 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 -la. Deck May we see it, please? Hey. Deck the halls. That's it. Karen, you've won the 250 means the least you'll play for is $2,500. But if you got a lucky spin of the star wheel, you'll double that money and play for $5,000. We'll all root for a double for you. Good luck to you. Here we go. <laughs> Any of the gold star area? It's all electronically controlled and automatic, and I think you've got it. Here we go. Swing around here and face me. And now, good luck to you. This is it. Get off my blank. No help from the audience, please, because uh, it might not be the best answer in the world. OK. He's finished. You give us the same answer that he's written on the card. If you do, you get $5,000. What do you say? Well, the first answer that came to my mind was back. Yeah. Get off my back. All right. 
Let's find out what Nipsey says. She says, get off my back, we'll match you. What do you say to that, Nipsey? See, that's old language. The what do they say now? now is, get off my case. Oh, they say that. Yeah, so get off my back. Oh. Aha! We welcome you, sir. Hi. I'd like to find out a little bit about you before we begin the competition here. Well, I retired about two years ago. I was one of the three personnel officers that closed down selective service. We sent all the people in the draft ah. boards home. <laughs> and then they wrote me a letter and I went home. <laughs> yes. And, uh, you may I, be called back soon. Right. Things aren't going too well for them, are they? Right. I, uh, I dance. and In fact, we won a jitterbug contest here in Corrales, New Mexico, but... Three months, five months You and ago. your wife? Right. No kidding, you're a jitterbugger. Right. Well, that's the music of your era, isn't it? Yes, oh, right. I'm, I'm the bionic senior citizen. Yes. <laughs> Does anybody there jitterbug? Get out here. <laughs> Come over here. Uh, have you got any jitterbug music, Mark? <laughs> No. <laughs> How about a tango with me? <laughs> okay, good luck to you, Jack. We'll ask you to begin. Oops, we'll uh, do a little business with America here first, and then we'll ask you to begin. Hold everything. Now, Jack, you have a choice of A or B. A. Jack wants A. Here it is. The desk clerk said, it was a mistake letting Jacques Cousteau stay at this hotel. <laughs> at this very moment, he's up in his room with a blank. <laughs> That's what he said. The desk clerk. Good. Hey, okay. All right. Charles, be ready in a moment. The desk clerk said it was a mistake letting Jacques Cousteau stay at this hotel. At this very moment, he's up in his room with a blank. A mermaid. Yeah. Mermaid is good. You okay, Jack? <laughs> what do you say, Nipsey? I have heard that they are beautiful. I don't know the reason why. It's not enough woman to make love to, and it's too much fish to fry. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. He's a good old jitterbugger, isn't he? Yes, he is. Joyce Very was good. afraid she was going to throw her over and she doesn't have any you know oh, what Oh, really? <laughs> Would have been a first for network television. No <laughs> well, now, I said mermaid. Wow. Okay, two for Jack. Make it three for Jack. A mermaid from Pismo Beach. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got for old Jack, Lonnie? He's, uh, Jacques Cousteau stay at this hotel. It's the very moment he's up in his room with a... Definitely a mermaid. A mermaid. Look out, a mermaid. Man, okay. <laughs> Jack, what have you got for Jack? He was up in his rim. Rim? With a wet fish. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I feel like right now. No romance in your soul anymore. No, no. <laughs> In his room, hey. <laughs> rim. <laughs> rim. 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 funny money in. Oh, yes. Shoot. I can jitterbug, but I didn't come up with the right answer. Really? 
He shook up your brains, this huh? Is, yeah. This is shocking, I've got to tell you this. An electric eel. An electric eel. That Jacques Cousteau, you know how those Frenchmen are. What the heck? Uh, hello, Karen. Whoops. <laughs> oh, boy, it's a godfather. Oh, boy. You <laughs> Careful, honey. Oh, my gosh. I went to a tough school when I was a kid. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> The first time you're bad, they send your parents a letter. The second time, they send your parents a blank. First time you're bad, you send your parents a letter. And the second time, the second time you're bad, they send. Second time. No one can understand it. Don't spit it out on me. Tough school when I was a kid. The first time you're bad, they send your parents a letter. The second time, they send your parents a rump bum. Jane, don't swallow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think you should wet that down before you put it in. <laughs> 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 That's not bad. I hope Patty Duke is watching this act. It's so exciting. <laughs> Understand me, and then nobody understands me. Wait a week. Oh, that's. <laughs> oh, sweet, I told you to wear it before you put it in. I went to tough school when I was a kid. First time you're bad, they send your parents a letter. Second time, they send your parents a... Uh... Dead child. <laughs> yeah, we never went that far. Yeah. What did she say? They uh, send her a dead child? Yes. Well, how can you attack that lady? The second time, they send her a body. Yours. Ah. You could have fooled me. <laughs> Thank you. What do you what got? What is the thing they said, well, which I, I couldn't think of? Is it called the black hand? Yes, what I yes. got. That's, yeah, yeah, that's what Nipsey is. I couldn't remember. Anyway. <laughs> Why didn't I just say Nipsey's hand? That's yeah. right. <laughs> no, I said they sent a contract on the kid. Now, that's sort of contract a match. Contract on the it? kid. Well, the contract, <laughs> Not you know, quite dead. Could it not have been fulfilled? Yes. Do you realize I'm sitting here with the black hand and the white mouth? <laughs> Maybe we should put the black hand over the white mouth. The child molesting award. Molesting at. answer award. They said a body to kid. Body to kid. That's another man. I thought it was a rotten answer, <laughs> but she's doing well with it. What a rotten group on the panel. Until she gets to me, I was thinking of letter, so I thought they'd a send a ransom, ransom note. note. That's a good one, yes. What have you got? See, invariably, uh, the parents pay for their children's <laughs> mistake. Yes, <laughs> mistake. So graceful. So I said they sent them a horse's head. Horse's head. <laughs> well, that was from the book like of the most picture, right? Horse's a pony's head. head. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like any of these answers, and I couldn't bring myself to say the dead body of the child. So I said what they would bring him in. What? A coffin. Like time they send your parents a coffin. You're a mean okay, lady. so it's four to two at the end of round one in favor of Jack Bejart. Round two coming up a little later right now this. Don't forget to watch Lonnie Anderson on uh, WKRP Cincinnati. <laughs> Jack Jones is at the Riviera. No, no, no. At the sand. The sa no. At the, uh, wait a minute, I've got one more Sahara. day. Right down the line. Sahara. Sahara, thank yes, you very much. Yes, at the Sahara at the in Las Vegas. You're at the sand. I'm at the sand. Yeah. And <laughs> we're at the Ramada Inn. And you're hanging by a thread. <laughs> hanging by a thread is her seven. movie, yes. That's her life is hanging by a thread. <laughs> I, uh, uh, next week, uh, when we all gather on the stage. Now you're in my light. Oh, I'm sorry. Some of us will be here, and some of us won't be here. Which ones of us won't be here? Bert Tilstrom's friends, Kukla and Ollie. Brett Summers.
Charles Nelson Riley, Ava Galore, Artie Johnson, and Fanny Flagg. For your muscles. I'm Gene Raver, and join us next time for Matt Damon.